if I need it, I'll put an indication of where it's facing, you know, drawing a little line on the hemisphere, or sometimes just this is enough, right? A lot of times that's enough. Um, if there's a question of the angle of the head, you know, maybe I'll do that. Uh, if there's an emotion involved, I'll keep that really simple too. Very stick figure simple. Um, the body, angle of the shoulders, the angle of the hip, as we've always already seen in the walk, like these are two of the most important things. And then just connecting these two things, right? In an elaborate pose, it's some sort of S shape, you know? I'm not super worried about um, much else. This gives me everything I need for the body. For the legs, again, I keep it real simple. One thing about this that's nice about this rubber box body is that I can try to start composing a pose by thinking about how things come off of these corners of these hips, right? This angle of the hip which is an important uh, line in your character. How do I flow the rest of this stuff off of here? And how do I make an appealing pose out of it? A lot of times the line of this body will help you place the lines of the leg. Same thing in your poses. Thumbnailing it like this starts to get you used to thinking of like, well, how does the edge of the body flow into the line of the leg? Arms, let's say, There, that's my arm. Um, this is the kind of detail I'm putting in. It's very loose. I don't draw a neck in, there's almost no reason. If I were to draw some a neck in, it would be because I'm doing something like this from uh, the side, right? I'm trying to describe a slouch and I need the neck in, right? Uh, otherwise, it's a waste of time. From the side, you know, I did this in, like this is a side view. You know, here's again, the legs coming off the body in sort of a, as simple and elegant of a line as I can make. I really try to keep it super simple. Say we're at a three quarter angle. I have the same tilt in my body. I connect these with lines. It's just the same, you know, as a way of thinking about it, this line just gets put back here, same line, and then I connect the edges. Let's say I want to have the, the hips facing on three quarter, but I want the body starting to twist over here. Well, here's that corner, right? I want it to be flattening out. Well, sort of in your mind, you have to start understanding that that's what that might Maybe not look like, but that's a representation of my body is starting to twist around as this character looks over his other shoulder, right? Doing this kind of thing. I don't want you to draw this, right? I want you to draw a box for the body, a loose one at that. I want you to know what angle like this is. What is the head doing? You know, and what are the, what's the angle here for the leg? Or what angle is the foot on? I don't even want a knee in there. If you don't have to draw a knee, then make this an elegant line. Find out where it connects with the body. Oh, look, here's a line I can make soft and elegant. This one, too, comes right in here. Look at this. This goes all the way across here. These are the kind of long, sweeping lines you want to make. These are going to make your appeal uh, easier to achieve. These are elements of appeal, like these, these kinds of uh, bold, long lines.